Okay, welcome back, world famous gamer. Here you guys. What's up? Chapter five, uh, First Kings. Um, I gotta do some uh, Pilgrim's Progress, dude. I gotta probably after this one, I'll do that. Maybe two chapters, and then go to go to this. But um, this is chapter five. It's got eighteen verses in it. Um. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this with, with any of your friends from church, family, whatever, whoever, you know. Um, chapter 5, verse 1. And Hiram, king of Tyre, sent his servants unto Solomon, for he had heard that they had anointed him king in the room of his father. For Hiram was ever a lover of David. And Solomon sent to Hiram, saying, Thou knowest, oh, and Solomon sent to Hiram, saying, Thou knowest how that David my father could not build an house unto the name of, name of the Lord his God, for the wars which were about him on every side, until the Lord put them under the soles of his feet. Hold on. Could not build an house unto the name of the Lord his God, for the wars which were about him on every side, until the Lord put them under the soles of his feet. But now the Lord my God hath given me rest on every side, <laughs> so that there is neither adversary nor evil occurrent. And behold, I propose to build an house unto the name of the Lord my God, <laughs> as the Lord spake unto David my father, saying, Thy son whom I will set upon thy throne in thy room, he shall build an house unto my name. Now therefore command thou that they hew me cedar trees out of Lebanon, and my servants shall be with thy servants, and unto thee will I give hire for thy servants, according to all that thou shalt, shalt appoint. For thou knowest that there is not among us any that can skill to hew timber like unto the Sidonians. Wow. So the Sidonians are skilled in uh, hewing timber. That's pretty cool. And it came to pass when Hiram heard the words of Solomon that he rejoiced greatly and said, Blessed be the Lord this day, which hath given unto David a wise son over this great people. And Hiram sent to Solomon, saying, I have considered the things which thou sentest to me for, and I will do all that I desire concerning timber of cedar and concerning timber of fir. My servants shall bring them down from Lebanon unto the sea, and I will convey them by sea in floats unto the place that thou, that thou shalt appoint me and will cause them to be discharged there, and thou shalt receive them, and thou shalt accomplish my desire in giving food for my household. Hold on, let me... Wow. Bringing all those, what, all those trees? Unto this, down from Lebanon, unto the sea, and I will convey them by sea in floats unto the place that thou shalt Appoint the, appoint me, and will cause them to be discharged there, and thou shalt receive them, and thou shalt accomplish my desire in giving food for my household. So Hiram, oh snap. So Hiram gave Solomon cedar trees and fir trees according to all his desire, and Solomon gave Hiram twenty thousand measures of wheat for food to his household and twenty measures of pure oil. <whistles> Thus gave Solomon to Hiram year by year. Let me bring this out a bit. And the Lord gave Solomon wisdom as he promised him. And there was peace between Hiram and Solomon. And they, and they too made a league together and King Solomon raised a levy 
out of all Israel. And King Solomon raised the levy out of all Israel, and the levy was 30,000 men. And he sent them to Lebanon, 10,000 a month, by courses. A month they were in Lebanon, and two months at home. And Adoniram was over the levy. And Solomon had three score and ten thousand that bear burdens, and four score thousand hewers in the mountains. <whistles> That's cool. Beside the chief of Solomon's officers, which were over the work, three thousand and three hundred, which ruled over the people. Wait, hold on. Beside the chief of Solomon's officers, which were over the work, oh, three thousand and three hundred, which ruled over the people that wrought in the work. And the king commanded, and they brought great stones, costly stones and huge stones, to lay the foundation of the house. And Solomon's builders and Hiram's builders did hew them, did hew them, and the stone quarters, oh, and the stones quarters, oh, and the stone stone squares, oh, whoops, <laughs> that's funny, and the stone squares, so, and Solomon's builders and Hiram's builders did hew them, and the stone squares, so they prepared timbers, and stones to build a house. Wow. I guess they're working on building that. I'm thinking they're building the uh, temple of God. We'll find that out in chapter 6 maybe. Or chapter 7 in the future. But he's, he's saying hey you. I'll give you some food if you give me some of these trees and stones. That we can build this beautiful whatever the heck, the heck it is they're building temple or whatever the Lord's temple in his house maybe but that's chapter 5 um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and uh, I'll see y'all in the next video uh, chapter 6 I want to see what they're actually building so hopefully chapter 6 tells us don't forget to share this too love y'all God bless and peace out